Hello, my dudes. It's people saying that I can't dress up as Kakashi because I'm a girl. Where is my sealer? <gasps> oh no. <laughs> So sorry I broke you with my ass. I'm sorry. I'll go ahead and put that in the beginning of the video. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? I am back. Guess your friendly neighborhood K Senpai is back. First off, sorry about the lighting. It's natural daylight and I don't have a beauty light. <laughs> and also, sorry about this face, but we're doing makeup today, so I gotta start bare. My bare minimum for makeup is usually eyebrows and mascara. That's what I go to work in. If I have to put on anything at all, it's that. <laughs> so I don't wear makeup a whole lot. I wear it for like special occasions, if I'm going on a date, if I'm just going out somewhere. That's normally when I wear foundation, concealer, eyeshadow, and then lipstick is like super duper, I'm, I'm just gonna go all out today. I normally never wear lipstick. <laughs> but I've always loved makeup and I've loved the idea of it. I like being creative with all the colors. My favorite color is blue, so I normally gravitate towards that, but I actually follow a lot of beauty gurus, beauty influencers. Words are hard. Um, <laughs> I'm probably not gonna, don't keep that in there. I wouldn't say I'm an expert on the subject, but I know a little bit of the tea, okay? But today we're gonna be doing five makeup looks with the Blood Sugar Palette. Jeffree Star, love him to death. And I wish that I could say that I could have gotten my hands on the Jawbreaker Palette or the Blue Bud Palette, but we're just gonna stick with the OG because I'm broke as fuck. <laughs> yes, well, it's me, okay. No, but I might as well just go with the palette that started it all, especially since I don't really do makeup content ever on my channel. If you guys are new here, hello, welcome, and I hope you guys stick around. Be sure to subscribe and give a like if you end up enjoying this video. It'll help me out a lot. <laughs> if you haven't seen my other video, go ahead and check it out. I did a tutorial on the live action Hanaki mask from Tokyo Ghoul. There we go. <laughs> a lot of words and words are really hard for me, as you guys could probably tell. I get a few comments on my word slip-ups here and there. <laughs> um, words are just hard, and I think I have a speech impediment because it's just, you, you ever notice how my videos are always just kind of cut really close together? <laughs> That's for a reason. It's for good reason. It's to keep me entertaining. <laughs> just like that, because I lose my train of thought and I mess up on my sentences and on my words and I stutter and I think it's a thing and I just need to get it checked out. <laughs> but anyways, let's get into the palette and I'm going to go over the looks that I'm going to be doing with you guys. Yeah. Let's get into the looks. We're going to be a beauty guru. That was lame. Okay. Um, look number one. I kind of wanted to do just like a natural brown neutral color look with my natural hair color. Something that anybody could do and I feel like I could do and I've done before so it should be fine. <laughs> look number two, boom, is gonna be red vampire-ish kind of vampy look. It's gonna have a lot of blush, really really pale skin. is paler than this, probably. I don't know, I'm pretty pale. I'd have to put on like white or something if I wanted to be pale, which I have white body paint. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna use that for my skin, but we'll see. Look number three is going to be a really golden, dramatic, drama, Jeffree Star kind of feel look. Gonna have a lot of gold, might have the first class lip going on, and yeah. And now the fourth and the fifth ones are gonna be the ones that are cosplay-esque, kind of crazy and out there, but um, I'm hoping they're gonna turn out okay, because I don't really have a game plan. I just kind of wrote down colors, wrote down what I wanted to do, and say, question mark, I don't know what I'm gonna do for this part, but just figure out something. So I'll leave those last two looks as a little mystery, and I'll put, have those at the end, because they're probably gonna be the most work, honestly. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm estimating this is gonna take me about four or five. Rude. I'm estimating this is gonna take me about four or five hours. Um, I'll let you guys know how much time it takes in the end. Stop it! <laughs> I don't need any more notifications. Just stop. Just, just, just stop, please. Stop. Also, you guys like my little background? I decorated the boxes with blankets. <laughs> I actually got those blankets in Japan, and they were crazy expensive. And I should not have bought them, but I did. And I regret nothing. But let's get into this. 
Um, I know there's already like a plethora of makeup videos about this, but I just, I just want to play with makeup, you guys. I'm excited. Let's go. First, we have to start with a base. Do you guys think this is a good match for me? Because I don't think so. I don't know. Like, it looks okay on camera, but in real life, it like... It has a weird finish and it gets into all the little cracks and crevices and it does the same thing on my face and it oxidizes <laughs> like crazy. Wait, hold on. Do you see that little stripe right there? Hold on. Okay. This is my natural white paleness. This is more of like a tan. So I'll do this on my hairy ass arm and I'll do this on my pale part of my arm. So that's the color but it's like way more peachy. I think you can see the peachiness and it's oxidizing. Look at that. Uh, like it, it does a good job of covering, but like you can see where I put it on my hand. You can see, and in a few minutes, you'll be able to see even worse. This is what somebody at Sephora picked out for me. This is, I walked in there, I was like, I need help. I don't know what to pick. I've never gone into Sephora or Ulta and looked at all these products. I need help. And this lady is just like, no, it looks pretty. It looks so good on you. Ooh. I'm not impressed. So what I've having, <laughs> what I've had to been doing. Oh my goodness, can I speak? So what I've had to do is I I picked out this concealer and she's just like, no, you don't want it to be too light because then it'll like it'll look weird. And I'm like, but that's what the drag queens do. And I know I'm not a drag queen, but Jeffrey looks pretty damn good when he does it. So I have pale skin. He has pale skin. He uses really, really white concealer. Why can't I? So I picked out this one and it's actually almost my skin color like this, that. OK, you guys might be thinking it looks a little bit white. No, no, this is my skin color, okay? It blends in with my fingers. It, it's my skin color. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're just gonna be using concealer as foundation today. And now I have to go take all this off my hand, hold on. And you know, if you guys are watching this video, um, you've probably seen how people put on foundation and stuff. So I think I'm just gonna skip past that because my videos end up being really long anyways. So since I don't have primer, I'm gonna be using these two color correctors to try and get my dark circles, which they're there, and all of my red spots, all of my pimples because I've always had really bad skin anyway. So no matter how much I take care of it, it looks like this. So instead of primer, I'm gonna be doing this and then rubbing this all over my face. So uh, we'll see you in just a, just a second. Hold on, let me just... I also put in contacts because um, I'm really blind, so I won't be able to do this without them. We have our base on besides highlighter. My concealer is medium coverage. It's not high coverage concealer, and that's why you can still see come up, uh, some of my zits underneath them, but we're gonna ignore that. <laughs> So I don't think eyebrows are too fun of a process to watch to be done, but a lot of people are curious on how everybody does their eyebrows. And normally, just do them and then wipe away any imperfections. So I'll go ahead and do my eyebrows now. And my mirror is over here, so that's why I'm gonna be looking over here. Unless... Oh yeah. <laughs> I actually bought this as a gift for my fiance because she also loves Jeffree Star a lot, <laughs> just as much as I do. I think she, no, I think, I don't remember who got who into Jeffree, but I know I started watching him on YouTube first, so. And not only did I get this for her as a gift, but I also broke her gift almost clean in half. <laughs> with my ass. <laughs> yeah, we decided to bring it on a little road trip with us to Pride and do our make some of our makeup at Pride and we were getting out of the car and I just sat on it <laughs> and it almost broke clean in half but I managed to super glue it and it is alive and well. Yay. <laughs> Anyways, let's do our brows, shall we? This is the e.l.f. brow pencil in I think deep brown. It's like the darkest shade that they they have for this and it's only $2 and it actually works really well for my brows. So is that in the way? I'll do it over here. Does that work? Over here? Does that work better? Over here works better. I normally do both my brows at once um, to get them even, but this is kind of the first like shape that I do the outside and then I do like about halfway up. I think this is Nikki Tutorial's way of doing brows as well. This is maybe how I learned how to do my brows. Now I blend it out. Yeah, first one blended. Okay, we got them all blended out. You could stop here, but these personally are not dark enough for me. Oh. 
come back here. I'm gonna be one of those people that uses black eyeshadow and I'm gonna put it on my eyebrows. And most instances you don't really want your brows to be as dark or darker than your hair color and I definitely agree with not darker than your hair color but if your hair is already black you can't really get much darker. And I only do like the lightest amount here and everything on the ends, on the tails. Like how we're using our little busted eyeshadow. Ooh, okay, now that we have brows done, it's time for you guys to not judge me about how clean my brushes are. And we're gonna do eyeshadow. Finally, the parts that we've all been waiting for. Blood sugar palette. Let's go. Ooh, it's so pretty, you guys. I really went in on this one. <laughs> I've obviously used this a little bit, but I haven't really gotten a chance to play with all the colors. And I'm pretty sure the five looks that I've chosen today um, use every single one of these colors. So that's going to be fun. I think first we're going to start with sugar cane. We're just making a basic smoky eye. Start by just putting it on the lid. A little bit closer so you guys can see how about good angle. Okay. I love these eyeshadows so much. And I love his lipstick so much. His lipstick formula is literally the only thing I wear now. I pretty much refuse to wear anything else besides his. Look what you've done, Jeffrey. I wanna buy everything, but I broke. Just concentrating it all on the outer edge and blending it. I'm also gonna bring it a little bit closer to my nose and tie it in with everything. And also, since I don't wait, like waiting until the end to put color on my bottom lash line, I'm gonna also put on the bottom. Grab my posture. This is how I'm supposed to sit. This is how I sit. <laughs> like, all the time. <laughs> No wonder why my back hurts. I don't like doing this whole complete one eye and then do the other eye business. So I'm gonna do both of them at the same time. So hold on. Okay, and I would say in true beauty guru fashion, we're just going to do mascara. I'm gonna save the lashes for the gold over the top look. And I've also never put on lashes before. <laughs> so normally for a look like this, I would be doing eyeliner, but I think I'm just gonna stick to mascara. But before I do that, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and line my eyes. And I just use this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On. Um, I don't like it. Just as a heads up, uh, yeah, let's go on <laughs> to mascara. And this one is the CoverGirl Clump Crusher, and it works pretty well for my eyelashes, so. <sighs> Mango Dragon Fruit Tea is very good. Okay, so we have mascara done. I think all we have left is the highlighter and some lipstick. And as much as I would love to say that I have a Jeffree highlighter to use, I don't. <laughs> so, uh, my video cut off and I had to delete a bunch of other stuff on my phone to make room for this stuff because my life is completely organized. Everything is fine. <laughs> um, it is a few hours later. I have eaten and um, this is going great so far. <laughs> now we're going to do highlighter. Um, I don't remember where I left off, but wherever it cut off, I'm just going to start here. I would love to have his wonderful collection of everything possible because I love him so much, but... <laughs> This is the Milani palette. I think it's okay. It's pretty, it's pretty okay. <laughs> if Jeffrey ever sees this, please send me everything and I love you and I would love to meet you one day. <laughs> That's, is that too fangirly? I'm gonna take the lightest shade and just go in. Can you guys see? I don't know if this lighting is good for highlighter. Gotta be really blinding for Jeffrey. This is not normally how I would do it, but it has to be blinding for Jeffrey. I know this isn't a highlighting brush, leave me alone. Okay. I'm also going to put that color in the inner corner because that's what Jeffrey would do. We done with that. Let's move on to something else. <laughs> I either wanted to do Family Jewels or Calabasas. Um, probably going to have to do Calabasas just because it matches a little bit. So let's do that. And I hopefully want to end up collecting all of the eyeshadow palettes by Jeffrey and Holly will have all of the lipsticks. <laughs> So we're working on it. She definitely has a lot of lipsticks. Hi, Boo Boo. Hello. Hi. Yeah. 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 Oh, you want to be a part of the video? I was going to put on lipstick, sir. 
a big boy you guys a whole 14 pounds of him we're actually putting our cats on a diet he is doing fine but uh, Kira is the one that needs to lose weight so okay let's try this again you can tell I don't do lipstick very often don't worry guys I'll get it eventually <laughs> things are going so well you guys like this is only the first look, only the first one. I think this is as good as it's gonna get, lipstick wise. So let's go ahead and fix our hair and see how it looks. <laughs> Did I offend you? So here is the finished look. This is how I normally do my hair. A somewhat more updated look of what I would normally do. <laughs> Normally I would wear my glasses with this, but contacts because it makes it easier to do makeup. So, here you go. On to look number two. <laughs> Only three hours later. <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> oh yeah, the later in the video it gets, the more red my eyes will get because of the contacts. Because I don't wear them very often. It's just kind of gotten to that point where I need to stop and um, I'm not stopping. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna stop. We have a little bit of a um, kickback. What is it called? I don't, I forget. <laughs> but now we're gonna move on to eyeliner. We're just gonna turn this into blush later, so I'm not gonna worry about it. We're just gonna move on. Ooh. Hey! No, leave it alone. You in there? So I just looked back and saw that some of my footage got deleted. Fun. So how I got up until this point is a bunch of red eyeshadow. So I took um, sugar cane and then tongue pop and I just kind of layered it on there to start. I just kind of went down the line and I took cherry soda and fresh meat. I put it on, I just made it really dark in the front and the side. I messed up the first time around, I didn't make this part dark enough so it didn't contrast very much. So I had to go back and fix it the best I could. I got some fallback or whatever. I can't remember what it's called right now. But I just kind of went down the line. I even used these two darker purples over here to make it even darker. And then I did a cut crease with concealer. And then I put um, prick on it. So yeah, now we're doing eyeliner. Let's get back to that, please. Oh, losing footage. Isn't it so fun? Okay, now that we have eyeliner done, we're gonna go ahead and line our eyes again. Okay, now that we have that done, I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some mascara and then we'll do the lips. <laughs> boo boo, <laughs> he is crying. <laughs> All right, we have mascara done now, looks good. I'm pretty sure other people would put lashes on, but I just really don't want to. <laughs> so we're not gonna. Just to make this even more extra, we're gonna put some red. It's getting really dark outside, <laughs> really fast. We're gonna mix a little cherry soda and extract, no. <laughs> cherry soda and prick, and we're gonna put it on my eyebrows. Fun. Okay. Okay, we're gonna blush up this face like crazy. So it give us that sick look and to match the fallout that I, that's what it's called, the fallout that I had on this eye. Now we're gonna do some highlighter. Everybody's favorite part. God, it is getting dark fast. <laughs> Excuse you, son. Or, oh, that's Kira. <laughs> So we got the highlighter on, now let's get the lipstick. And of course we're going to be doing uh, unicorn blood, cause that would totally go with this look. I know it's a lot of red, but I kind of just do like monochrome looks most of the time. Monotone? Would you stop? Okay, ignore them, they're playing in their, their little house. But let's go ahead and put this on. I love this color so much. Now for this look, I'm not gonna actually use my hair. I'm gonna be putting on a wig. So let's do that. Super duper long wig. <laughs> Yay. I don't know, I feel pretty cute. Vampire-y. <laughs> what do you guys think? Okay, so this is look number two. Woohoo. 
And I have a feeling that I'm not gonna do any more looks tonight, but just in case I do, way to go me, but I don't think so. So, um, probably see you tomorrow, or the next day. <laughs> so it's been two days. From the first two looks on Friday, it's Sunday. Right now, it's uh, 7.40 in the morning. So my eyes are so puffy, because they get puffy in the morning. I tried to calm them down, but this is the best I can do. So we're gonna continue. Uh, probably only have time for one look before I have to stop again, but I wanna get something done today, so we're gonna do this. I've just been having a rough morning. I didn't wanna sleep, go back to sleep, hot. <laughs> I wanted to do makeup because whenever I'm feeling down, I kind of tend to turn towards like art, drawing, writing, even dancing if I feel up to it even though I suck. So makeup is another thing that if I have the money, I really like to do because sometimes people just don't have money for makeup. It's a really good way to just kind of do stuff. Sorry if the lighting is bad. I forgot that I put my mirror back up to do this at least. I'll move it when I'm done like my way of doing my foundation. Foundation. <laughs> yes, makeup is very therapeutic, so feeling down, I'm gonna do some makeup. Let me know if you guys want me to keep doing makeup videos. I think they're pretty fun, I'm just not that professional, <laughs> so uh, yeah, let me know. And now we can actually start the look. <laughs> let me move this. My idea was to try to do a glitter like line cut crease, so uh, we'll see how that goes. The last, the last and first time that I did a cut crease, uh, it was okay, as you guys saw. So uh, we'll try. We'll try this time. I mean, not that we didn't try last time, but we're gonna, we're, we're just gonna go for it. I'm going to go ahead and do brown eyebrows. This one, this is it. Super angry today. There's no covering up that one. Everybody has bad skin days. I Mine is just all the time. Okay, so we're gonna be using this brush because all my other ones are stained pink and red. Thank you, Jeffrey. <laughs> I don't feel like cleaning them, so we're gonna go ahead and take Sugar Cane and Cake Mix, these two. I'm gonna lay down a base, like, I would normally do because I'm just not quite sure what I want to do yet, so. I just realized I didn't contour my nose, so I'm gonna take that shade. I'm just gonna bring it all the way down my nose. Why the f not? Okay, now that we have that laid down, I'm going to attempt to do a better cut crease than yesterday with Drug Lord. Okay, I would do the other eye, but I want to see if this is gonna work or not. We're gonna take Donor. Let's just see if I can pop this on there. Oh no, we're already off the bed. It's pretty color though. Not sure if I'm doing this justice. Okay. I mean, it's not terrible. Let's try and save this look a little bit and go in with a sweetener. That's not helping. Okay. Well, it's on there, so. Okay, you know what? We're gonna turn this into something else. <laughs> right, oh my god, the fallout. Brought the shimmer brush all this away. Not bad. Let's do the other one. Okay, I want to get this done as quickly as possible because I am using up storage space five seconds. So we're going to do our first attempt at false lashes. So let's see how this goes. You know what? Nope, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> there is no way in the hell I am doing that today. So uh, we're just going to do a mascara instead. <laughs> okay, so I went ahead and lined my eyes and did mascara. So now we're going to go ahead and do lipstick. Of course, we're going to be using first class because it's gold. It's a gold book. Let's do it. What? I'm busy. Now, I think this look is pretty much complete. Of course, set it with setting spray if you wanted to stay all day, but let's go ahead and put the wig on. Ooh. Okay, so I got the wig on. I don't know how I feel about blonde hair. I know it's my original hair color, but I'm just not sure. <laughs> or it could be this lipstick. I really don't know. I wanted to change my outfit so it would match a little bit better. It's okay. My hair is look great. Another outfit change. <laughs> Guess what? It's been three days since I did that one look. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We're just gonna move on and I'm just gonna continue with my nicotine addiction. Just give me a second. 
anyways. <laughs> I've thrown my hair up in a loose ponytail and we're gonna go ahead and move on to the final two looks. I am determined to get them done today because if I do not, I will go crazy. <laughs> if I'm not crazy already. And um, yeah, we're just, gonna, we're just gonna do this. I have a convenient lampshade. This is my setup here. Uh, for, in order to make sure the cats, oh hi Zitz, hello, you can see them even more now. Anyways, um, to make sure the cats don't mess with my stuff, I have a lampshade over it. Let's get started. <laughs> this video is going to be absolute trash. But I hope you guys enjoy it, and um, I really do enjoy playing with makeup, so um, I'm just gonna see how this video goes, and yeah. <laughs> One good thing about this video is that I've gotten consistently better at putting in my contacts. So that's a good thing. <laughs> Let me just finish doing that. I also don't understand how beauty people put the contacts in after the makeup is finished. I don't get it. I My eyes water about 90% of the time. It'll just mess up the whole makeup. And you have to hold your eye open if you're unexperienced and you're just gonna mess everything up. I already kind of messed up my mascara that I had on from earlier because I had to run errands. I didn't want to look like total trash <laughs> going outside. You know, it didn't feel like covering up the zits or anything, but I have to have eyebrows and mascara. <laughs> also always. Oh my god, the mirror matches my shirt. Hell yeah. <laughs> I absolutely love this shirt. I have no idea why, but I got it from Hot Topic like a couple years ago, and I'm in love, so. <laughs> why are you drinking chocolate milk out of a Coca-Cola glass, you might ask? Because I fucking want to. That's good. <laughs> so let me drink my chocolate milk, okay? It's almond milk, okay? I, I can't even drink real chocolate milk. Just leave me alone. This is why I can't do videos on time. I'm also gonna stop saying Where is my concealer? <gasps> oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Guys. Why do you have to do me like that? Why do you have to do me like that? Uh, I can save it, right? Uh. It's magnetized on there. So confused. I'm, I'm gonna have to be back in just a sec. It got literally everywhere. I'm still cleaning off my hands. Speaking of keeping my hands clean, I should take this off. So the lighting's gonna be a little bit bad for a second, but this is the only thing I have to use for my brows to make them darker besides my liner, so. done the base. I haven't really put on very much blush at all because I want this look to be pretty pale. I'm gonna make these brows a little bit more bushy and boy-like because I normally cosplay as boys all the time. It's just my preference. I feel more comfortable in cosplay when like I'm a boy so that is just my weird thing <laughs> because I'm gender fluid which um hi. <laughs> Which gender fluid or gender queer basically means that, for me at least, I'm pretty sure this is the, the broad definition, but you kind of just feel like any gender. So for me, some days I feel like a woman, sometimes I feel like a man, sometimes I feel in between, sometimes I feel nothing at all. It just really like depends. So gender fluctuates every day for me and it's really annoying. <laughs> but we're going for more bushy brows, so we're gonna finish those. Did I bother taking off my makeup from before? No, not at all. <laughs> For difference. <laughs> I think we have the brows kind of where we want them. Little trick, if you make them a little bit longer than usual, it'll make you look older or more masculine. Whichever one. <laughs> Okay, so like I said, this look is going to be way more over the top and cosplay-esque because that's my jam. <laughs> We're going to start with a nice dark purple smoky eye. So let's do that with our dirty brushes. <laughs> I don't care, judge me all you want. <laughs> they going to get dirty again anyway, so. Like all the other looks, we're going to start with sugar cane, which is that. Ooh. Stop doing that. Why can't I just be not clumsy for once in my life? This one. 
This look is gonna be really, really dramatic. So we're gonna bring eyeshadow all the way down to the nose. I don't even care that I'm using a giant fluffy brush because it's going to get everywhere. I don't, I literally don't care. Anyways. Okay, now that we have those blended, I'm going to take my destroyed broken black eyeshadow <laughs> and darken up the corners. Okay, so I added that black eyeshadow and I went ahead and did my waterline. So now we're gonna do a little bit of eyeliner, make a nice wing. Cause even though this is a guy look, it's still gonna have eyeliner. We gotta rock it, okay? What is that? Why do I have to mess up so bad? Okay, so I went ahead and did my eyeliner. Um, I messed up a bunch of times, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> and I get, did my mascara too. Now we're going to move on to darkening up the face with some really, really dark contouring, because I want to. And the big mirror is coming back, so I can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, I might add a little bit of shading, a little bit more. Excuse you! Excuse you! <laughs> Polly, there we no throwing of cat toys. No. No. My fiance decided she wants to throw cat toys at me. Anyways, I've done a little bit of shading. I might add more later, but we're going to do lips. Or lip, I guess. Because I have a plan. Ooh, look at those yellow teeth. You can tell I drink a lot of coffee. <laughs> Let's move on to the face paint portion. And honestly, I really, really like um, Graptorvian Pro Paint. It's the only kind of body paint that I have bought and I only bought it because Meiju Look uses it, used to use it in her videos. She uses something else now, I don't know. But this lasts a really, really long time, so I use this. Okay, I'm back for my little break. Um, makeup sitting on good. Um, I've called in the help of all the lights that I could possibly have in my house until I run out of daylight and then I might steal another light so you guys can get as much of a good look as possible. Um, yes, I know. It's very dark. You'll see my vision in just a second, okay? I have a binder on now. My tits are gone. And um, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna dive right in here. I'm so unprofessional. Mean. The devil. Queen. <laughs> uh, I wonder how many times I could do that in this video. It's kind of fun to just hit stuff. So my, my vision here. Let me explain. This symbol right here. I want to put that on my neck. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to go. You can see everything. Ooh. <laughs> oh, Inception. Oh. <laughs> Guys, I need to stop. Okay. I'd probably be on this side, even though it's not my good side. It might get distorted if I'm not like super careful. So I think I'm gonna sketch out a little bit of where I want the design to go. I think I'm gonna try and attempt to mix a little bit of my white body paint with um, some of the reds from this palette, maybe Prick or this one, maybe both of them. A nice red color, do the design, and then go over everything else in black and highlight and yeah. We're, let's just start, please. We're running out of daylight. As I speak, as I am wasting time. So I managed to get a nice pink mixed. We're gonna start with the outline. <laughs> And I've never done this before. Just so we're clear, I don't know how long this is gonna take me, but the light might be completely gone by the time we're done with this, just in case you guys get confused. Okay. My only experience with drawing things on my neck is from my Zero cosplay, which if I feel brave enough, I will put a picture up of because I did it years ago and yeah. So there that is or isn't, I don't know if I wanna put that in there. <laughs> Let me know if you guys think I should recreate my Zero cosplay. I'm just, I'm just gonna go with it, my idea. If it ends up being stupid, it'll be okay. It won't be stupid. It's not gonna be stupid. It's not even, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Bagheera. You can't just yell every time you want something. It doesn't work like that. Um, I'm not gonna be entertaining at all. Even if I wasn't very entertaining before, I'm definitely not gonna be very entertaining now because I'm going to be tryharding and, um, just really focusing on this detail, so I'm gonna come back with you guys when I've finished up this little design here, if you don't mind. This isn't really a tutorial, it's more of just me playing with makeup. <laughs> it's 
So uh, yeah, I'll be back. I told you it was gonna be dark out. <laughs> and you can also see that there's no symbol there. I pretty much just like rage quit making the symbol. <laughs> I thought, oh, I've made a zero tattoo on my neck before. I could do this. I need like a stencil or something for that design. I just could not, for the life of me, do it. <laughs> so I rage quit, did this instead. Look like a blurry face impressionist. But you know what, we're just gonna go with it. And uh, we're gonna do a little extra pizzazz because that's what I want. And um, I'm gonna freak out. <laughs> hey, love. Ooh, this is kind of fun, okay. I'm starting to get a little bit happier. Thank you, highlighter, for making me happy. I should stop there, right? My hands are so messy. Thank you, bud. You're so tired. I know, it's so hard being you. Now you could just leave it like this and be your awesome self that you are, but I wanted to make this a boy look. So, let's put on a wig. All right. Hi. Why do you always do that? Like, right? Hello, shorts. <laughs> right as I'm about to film. No. No. No, just no, okay? You. No, it's not, it's not boo-boo time. It's not. My goodness. <laughs> okay, just ignore him. We're gonna be done with this look for tonight. I hope you guys like it. And um, I'm gonna call it a night because if I stay up any longer doing this, even though I said I was gonna get both of them done, <laughs> um, I need to call it a night, so. <sighs> You're ridiculous, you know that? Oh my goodness. Needy thing you. You are so needy. Anyway, again, I really wish I could have put the symbol on my neck. I thought it would have been really cool, but I'm not talented enough with body paint for that. So, here it is. <laughs> um, by the time you guys see me again, it'll probably be another day, for sure. How many days? I don't know, but I'm hoping for tomorrow, so. <laughs> you will not leave me alone. Oh. He says that all the attention needs to be on him, so. Um... <laughs> I don't want to end it, it's too cute. He's being really cute. Okay, I guess. And in the next scene, I will magically be all this makeup off. Magically be. I'm already tired. <laughs> in the next scene, I will magically have all of this makeup off in three, two, one. So. <laughs> It's the next day. Guess I'm wearing the same shirt. Um, I didn't do anything yesterday besides do this video and procrastinate the rest of the day, so. I don't need your judgment. I went ahead and popped my contacts in already and did my just regular base, no blush or nothing. Now we're gonna add some more to it so it's not so flat. This final look, I'm gonna try and redeem myself. I'm gonna try and do the symbol on my cheek this time. I think this side is my good side now. It used to be this side, but I think it's this one now. I'll figure it out later. This time I have coffee and I fucking need it too. <laughs> See, I mean freaking. I did a swore. Also, can we just talk about how PewDiePie uploaded today and mm. Dr. Rude. And Dr. Phil is posting meme review. It's the best shit ever. <laughs> Sorry I did a swore, but I'm really excited. Okay, so the color scheme for this, I don't think I said it yet, <laughs> is going to be pink and white. So we're gonna do my eyebrows in white and then go back over them to pink eyeshadow. You'll see, you'll see. <laughs> I would use Jeffree Star's Drug Lord, but that stuff's really hard to get off. His liquid lips are amazing, but they're really hard to get off, which makes them really good but I don't wanna put that all over my eyebrow and then just <laughs> try and just scrub it off, so. I mean, okay. <laughs> Hello, my dudes. I've been watching too much of Joanna's Cedia. Is that how you say it? Girl, what are you doing back there, bro? Hmm? Woo woo.
Love you too. So I'm gonna take this lovely cavity shade, which we're gonna be using a lot of later. I know, you guys are jealous of my double chin. You wish you had one. It's as magnificent as mine. I'm gonna go for like a, a whole like bubblegum candy kind of look. And I'm not sure if this look is going to be a boy look or a girl look, but... Cause with me, every single day changes. The look that I did last is definitely my favorite so far, by far probably. Just because I like boy looks better than girl looks, but um, everybody can wear makeup, so I, I don't know. You don't consider it a boy look because it has a lot of makeup, then we're not on the same page here. <laughs> Why are you watching this video? One thing that also really irritates me, and I hope y'all can see this, the people that irritate me. Most of these comments are on my Kakashi video or my Kaneki like, cosplay tutorial video. It's people saying that I can't dress up as Kakashi because I'm a girl. What age do we live in now? Because I'm pretty sure you're not with the times here. Just saying. There are plenty of other things going on in the world than being concerned with a girl dressing up like a boy because it's fun. Plenty of other things to be concerned with. Ooh, I can't find any tutorials that are actually done by boys. I just get really irritated with those kinds of comments because we live in a very new age now. I know there's still gonna be lots of people like that and that's fine and I honestly don't really care that much but at the same time I care a little bit because that's setting an example for somebody who <laughs> somebody else who might be considering like cross-playing or considering just dressing up as a different gender in general like trans people so I just get a little ticked off <laughs> that and when people tell me that my eye for the shower gun is on the wrong side it's not. And also, I didn't mention it earlier, but I know that people who are gender queer or gender fluid um, like to use like they or them pronouns. I don't really have any specific pronouns. You guys can call me whatever. I really don't care. Um, when I do care, I'll let you know. But for the meantime, I am me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> now we're going to move on to the eyeshadow. Uh, brows took way longer than I thought, but we're going to do eyeshadow now. I'm going to do a halo eye because I haven't done one ever so today is just all about doing things that we don't normally do besides the lashes because I didn't I really didn't want to do this um we're just gonna start with tongue pop and put that literally everywhere like everywhere and uh, we're putting it down here too good start <laughs> Woo, look at that immediately makes it look way better black and blue are obviously my favorite colors but I don't mind pink every now and then. Okay, we got the pink down now. Um, we're gonna make a little touch bit darker with the root canal, the light purple. We're gonna see how it goes. We just had a look at how bright this actually is. And it's insane. <laughs> we're gonna take Drug Lord, and instead of using concealer, I'm gonna use this. Wow, my train of thought is gone. <laughs> Happens all the time, ladies and gentlemen. Hi. She says love me, right? Oh wait, look at her little tail. Oh my god, I've been waiting to get this on camera. If you scratch her butt, her tail does like a curly cue kind of thing. Yeah, she loves it. Ooh, curly cue. I don't want your anus. Oh. I didn't want to use Jeffrey's thing for my eyebrows because I don't have to scrub it off my eyebrows, but it is not that insanely hard to get off the eyes. I'm also running low on concealer, so we're gonna, gonna save a little bit here. Oh, I immediately know this is not gonna work. Wait. Ah, lip brush. Let's see if the lip brush works. Guys, this isn't going <laughs> very well. Ugh. Would you stop? Goodness. It's a very important moment. I need to be in shell mode. Bitch, should I do it? I don't know. <laughs> Leave me alone. Oh no. Oopsie. Oh. OMG, we're getting somewhere, beach. Now, did I blend it? Something is happening. I don't know if it's good or not. <laughs> okay, we got that down. Kind of blended in. Um, now we're gonna go back in with blue coast, the white, and put on the inner corner. Okay, we also used a little bit of candy gloss for a highlighter. 
but we're gonna put a little bit more on since it's Jeffrey. Next thing. Okay, now this brush probably isn't the best thing to use, but I'm gonna be taking the white lipstick Drug Lord and putting it on my eyelashes as a white mascara. Obviously, if you have white mascara, use that, but I'm using this because it's eye safe. Okay, so we have our mascara on. I think it looks super cool. I have never done white eyelash white eyelashes before. <laughs> So I think they're pretty cool. I'm going to try tenth number two at the <laughs> Jeffree Star symbol for blood sugar. So I'm going to let you guys know how that goes. If I come back and it's not there, you'll know what happened. <laughs> okay, so you can see all the lovely texture on my face, but this is what I have so far. I think it's going to work. I think. We're going to try. Patience. Do I have any? No. <laughs> and through the power of editing, here we are. <laughs> Finally managed to get the symbol on there. Uh, this is the best I could do. It took me an hour and a half just, just to do that, probably. And then I put a bunch of sprinkles on my face because I thought it'd be cute. Um, I saw this person specifically. Um, I don't actually know where his social media is. His username is CauseFK. He does a lot of looks like this with like the pink eyes. He had his like drippy looks. I thought that would be really cool, but I just want to stick with sprinkles because this took so long. Now, we get to move on to the lips. Finally, we are getting close to done. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm kind of debating on white and then putting something on top of it, but I don't know yet. I've never worn this as an actual lipstick. I'm kind of scared and my teeth are gonna look so gross. Look at that. Already, they look nasty. The milk mustache, everyone. I hate this, so I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's just do this one, and uh, we're, we'll just see how that one looks. Oh, it smells good. I like this one a lot better. I think I'm done with the look. I think. So let me pop on a wig. Just gonna stuff that in there. Now we are bald, everyone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna just take this opportunity to take my hands back now. <laughs> this is a look. <laughs> and ta-da! <laughs> I decided that I needed a cute little necklace. It's so cute! <laughs> and I even changed my gauges to the pink. Uh, this wig is my lightning wig from when I tried to be lightning. <laughs> this is my tribute to Jeffree Star look. I finally did the symbol. This is the look. It's almost all pink. Let's take some photos. <laughs> I forgot to take a photo of my very first look, but I'm sure I'll grab like a screenshot of it or something. So so yeah, I think honestly my favorite looks are the last look I did. The really, really dark, evilish one and this one. I feel like they're the most cosplay-esque. I feel the most like myself, even though I look nothing like myself. <laughs> but let me know what your guys' favorite look was. Um, I really had fun doing this video and I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Um, even though it wasn't a tutorial, I still hope you guys enjoyed me just kind of dinking around and playing with makeup and enjoying my cats. Really have to hurry up and wrap this up because my phone's dying. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching and if you guys enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel it really helps me out a lot if you guys have any suggestions for videos to do in the future let me know um i'm generally always broke so nothing that involves too much money but um let me know what you guys want me to see me do i can't talk oh my god <laughs> i need to just go <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you next time bye